Hello everyone and welcome back uh, to this next video in the Root solo series that I've been playing. Uh, if you haven't already, this is now the third video in the series. So I have played once against the Mechanical Marquis, I have played once against the Electric Eerie, and now I am going to play against the Vagabot. Now if you aren't familiar with um, a concept called reach in the root games. Uh, it's in the appendix, the appendix of the last version of the law of root. And basically uh, what it does is it, it gives you some viable faction combinations for when you're playing. And you can see here that um, when you're playing a two player game, so solo versus one bot, you're trying to get a reach of 17 plus. And what that really means is whether the game is going to function um, in a manner that that will sustain itself and the and the bot will be able to play a, 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 as as you'd expect, or another human player would be able to do well as that faction. Now, unfortunately, because I want to try out the Vega bot, uh, you can see here they only have a reach of five. So playing against just them as any other faction would not get us to a viable game sum. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually play um, a three player game and I once again I'm gonna be the Eerie and I'm gonna play against the Mechanical Marquis plus the Vagabot, which back to this um, would give us a reach of uh, 20, 22. So, uh, which is more than the 18 you need here. And um, so this should be a, a good game. Um, so we have everything set up and I will go ahead and go first. So these are the cards that I drew. And I'm gonna go ahead and start off the bat with playing two cards to my decree. I'm going to do a recruit in bunny and a battle in uh, or do I want to do a move? Let's see here. No, I'll go ahead and do a battle. Uh, that might be hard to do consistently. So let's just go ahead and do a move. Well, that's gonna be also hard to do. Um all right, maybe we'll just add one here. Uh, let me think. No, I'll do a battle. We should be able to do it. Okay, so with that, let's go ahead and um, run through the decree. So I'm gonna recruit in Bunny. I'm going to go ahead and move from Bunny to Mouse, obviously. So we'll bring four. I'll do a battle in this mouse territory. Three to two, so we lose one and they lose one. And then we will do a build here. All right, so that was our bird song. Um, now we'll go ahead and score one victory point and Draw one card, another bunny. Okay, and now it is the Mechanical Marquis' turn. So they're gonna draw an order card. It is a mouse. It does not have a craft item on it. So they're gonna move right to their daylight phase. So the first thing they're gonna do is battle uh, in mouse, but obviously, there is no valid place for them to battle. So we'll go ahead and recruit four new cats, two mice. Uh, so they're only gonna place one there, one there, one here. And then the fourth one goes to um, highest priority clearing, which would be here. Okay. And now they're gonna build. So that since they drew a mouse, they're gonna build a recruiter. And that goes um, with the most warriors. So that would be here. 
And finally, uh, since they don't have more than three anywhere, they are going to not move. Um, so they score uh, one victory point, and they discard the card. All right, so now it is the Vagabot's turn. So first time that we're showing you uh, this bot, we will, as always, go through um, their turn a little bit more in depth than we will later in the game. So the first thing they're going to do is reveal an order card. It is a bunny, and there is no craft item. So they aren't going to craft, and they aren't going to slip because he starts in a forest. He actually starts in a forest that is adjacent to the most number of clearings, which is five here. So he's in that forest, so he's not going to slip. Now, because this was a bunny, we look at this for the daylight actions. So all the actions are listed here, but we only do what the card dictates. So the first thing he's going to do is battle. Now, a lot of these you'll see say, move to the nearest clearing with any pieces of the enemy with the most victory points. So uh, even though he's not in a clearing right now where there is a battle, the battle action actually has him moving to a clearing as part of it. Okay, so if we unpack this battle action a little more, it says to move to the nearest clearing with any pieces of an enemy with the most victory points. Well, we're tied uh, right now. So since all of these are within one, he's going to target the, the Marquise. So that's who he's going to. Um, now, there is a tie, obviously, for where he's going to go. So if we look here at this italics text, it says, um, move to the clearing where the, they have the most buildings and tokens, then fewest warriors. So that would be between 10 and 2. There's a building in each, but because there's fewest warriors in 10, that's where he's going to go. So he moves there. Now, in order for him to move, he actually um, has to exhaust an item. So he turns an item over. Now he's got two unexhausted items. And now the rest of the battle says... Um, score one per enemy warrior removed, and then repeat this action, exhausting two items um, per battle. So he has to exhaust one more for the actual battle, and now he's going to roll the dice. Now one other thing is if you have to look at re and refer to his battle track. Uh, right now, because he doesn't have six items, his maximum rolled hits are only one. So we're just going to go ahead and roll... All right, so it's three to three. Now he gets nerfed down to one, so that does kill a cat, and he scores a point for that. But he, but he also took damage. So again, there was only one cat there, so that's one point of damage. And the way that he takes damage is that he moves one of his exhausted items down to the damaged area. Uh, so that was his battle. He doesn't have two more unexhausted items, so he can't battle again. So uh, we move on to repair. And now if we look at repair, it says, if you have any damage items, exa exhaust one item to repair one damage item. So we're going to go ahead and exhaust this to repair this. Easy enough. And now his special. So he does not have any other exhausted items unexhausted items, so he won't be doing his special. But basically, uh, the special action refers to the one on his, on his character card, which we will cover, um, I'm sure, in the next turn. So with that, we go to evening. Um, he does not have any damaged items. So uh, if you have any refresh, if you have none, refresh six. So he's gonna just basically refresh these three items here. And uh, he is not in a forest, and he's going to discard his card. And that concludes his turn, and now it will be our turn. All right, so for our turn, I think... Uh, let's see here. Let's go ahead and do another bunny recruit. I'll put this here. 
here. All right, and that will be our Bird song phase. So for the two recruits, we'll recruit both obviously here. Now we're gonna move. So let's go ahead and move three up to here. Okay, uh, number 11, and that will be where our battle is. So again, we have to battle in a mouse territory, which this is. Uh, the problem is gonna be if we, next turn, we're gonna have to get to here, or, uh, yeah, let's just see what happens. Okay, three to two. So, both cats are dead, both, two birds are dead, and we will build here for our build phase. And now we score two points. Okay. And draw two cards. A bunny, or a mouse rather, and another fox. So that might help us get up there. Uh, we will see. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to add a move to a fox. Okay, uh, we'll worry about that next turn. So it is now the Marquis' turn. Let's see what card they draw. They draw a mouse. It does have a craft on it. So they're gonna go ahead and craft this item for a point. All right, and so it's another mouse. Uh, there are no valid battles for them. So they're gonna go ahead and recruit four, my cats. Uh, so it'll go here, 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 and here. Now, excellent. Um, okay, so build, they're gonna build another recruiter and that is going to go once again here. Okay, in two, because that's where the most cats are with five. We're gonna hopefully break that up soon. And now they're, they are gonna move. So, um, because they have five now, they're gonna move two out. Um, and it says to uh, basically most enemy pieces which would be the Vagabot. All right. And then finally, um, they're gonna score two points, puts them in the lead, and they discard the card. All right. It is now the Vagabot's turn. Okay, so the Vagabot's order card is a fox. It does not have a crafting item on it. So we just go ahead and um, finish Birdsong. So Birdsong, the last step says slip. Uh, if you have two or fewer undamaged items, move to a random adjacent few. few uh, but he doesn't, he has three undamaged items. So he's not gonna do that. So for the fox, we are gonna do explore, battle, special. So explore, move to the nearest ruin, exhausting one item per move, then exhaust one item to take an item from that ruin. So he's already added ruin, so he's not going to move, he's simply gonna exhaust an item to grab this here. So now he has four items. One of them is exhausted now. All right, and this ruin goes away. All right, next he's going to battle. Uh, so the cats still have the most victory points. So thankfully he's just going to stay there and battle. Uh, so he's gonna flip over one item to do the battle and 
Roll the die. Now he is capped again at one attack. So he gets one and the cats hit him for none. So he's not gonna have to exhaust any items. So he removes one cat that gets him a point. And now he will be able to battle again. Uh, repeat this action, exhausting two items per extra battle as many times as possible. So he's gonna go ahead and exhaust his last two items and battle once again. Wow, another zero for the cats. So he killed this last cat. He gets a, another victory point and has to damage no items because the cats keep rolling zeros. So finally, we do special. However, special requires exhausting an item, which he does not have anymore. So we're gonna move on to the evening phase. Um, he's gonna refresh six items but four, because that's all he has. And he's not gonna have to repair anything, so he's just going to discard his card, and that is his turn. Okay, so it is our turn, and we might have an issue here. Um, we're going to need to advance up to two in order to make sure that we can do our battle decree item. Um, but that means we're gonna have to first go through Fox, but it should be all right based on my calculations. So the first thing we're gonna do is add a Fox to move. Perfect. And let's go ahead and craft this Fox um, so that we can pull a boot away from the Marquis or Vagabot from building it. And also the Vagabond might want that from us. And then we get a point for that. Great. So we crafted that. All right, and let's do the decree. So first we're gonna recruit twice in three. Now we're gonna move. Uh, we will move everyone out of here for our wild movements up to six. And then we will move three. Oh, yes, we will move three up to here for our fox movement. And now our battle will take place here. So we'll go ahead and roll. Oof, one to nothing. But that's okay, because that gets us taken out of cat and satisfies our mouse battle. And then finally, we will build. And luckily, we rule ties, so we are able to build here. So we made it through another round of our decree. So that gets us three points. Perfect and two more cards. A fox, where are all the birds? And a mouse. All right. It is the Marquis' turn. They draw a fox. It does not have a crafting item on it, so we get right into it with them. First, they're gonna battle. There are no fox territories where there should be battles, so then they're gonna recruit four. Uh, one, two, three. Oh, I misspoke. There is a battle. There is a fox battle. So they're going to battle right here, actually. Three to three. Wow. So they take out us, but we take out them. Okay. And now, because of the um, bill or because of the recruit phase, they put they they don't get that back because they don't have any presence there. So that was actually interesting for them that battle. Uh, they're gonna go ahead and put another one in. Let's see where this would go. Highest priority would probably be here. Okay, so 
They're set with their recruit. Now they're gonna build, because it's a fox, they're gonna build a sawmill. And the sawmill is going to go in this territory here. Nope, that's full. Uh, so it's gonna be this one here. Okay, and then finally, they're gonna move. And they do have this one here, which they can move out of. Oh, interesting, I feel like uh, there shouldn't be four here. Last turn, they should have moved out of there as well. So we'll just go ahead and do that, do that right now. So for last turn, um, they would have moved to the, p there's no enemy pieces, so they would just move to the highest priority. So that would be down here. And then for this turn, they are gonna move one to here because there is an enemy piece. And that uh, concludes their daylight phase. Now they get a point for the sawmill and they discard their order card. Okay, now it is the Vagabot's turn. The Vagabot also pulls a fox. No crafting on that card. So they're just gonna go through their normal turn here. So the first thing they're gonna do is explore. Now there is not a ruin in the spot that they're at anymore. So they are gonna do this and it's basically uh, move to the nearest ruin, exhausting one item per move, then exhaust one item to take the item from that ruin. So the nearest ruin, there is a tie. Oh no, there isn't because they're not gonna go through the forest. So they're gonna move here. That took one item to move and one to explore. They get a boot. All right, and now they are gonna battle in 12. So they also have three items. So they're gonna battle twice. So let's go ahead and flip one now. Um, actually, hold on. We now have the most victory points. So they are gonna come after us in 11 now. So he's gonna exhaust one item to move to 11. Ooh, hold on, they might come here. Nope, they're gonna come to 11. So there's a tie for buildings and now they come after the one with the lowest amount of warriors. So they're gonna move to there. They're gonna flip another item to do the battle. And let's hope we can fight them off. We lost the die, hold on. Okay, so one die rolled a two and a two to two. So they're still capped. The Vagabot is still capped at one hit, thankfully. So we did lose our warrior that gets him a point. Okay, and now we did some damage to him. So he's gonna have to damage three items, leaving one unexhausted item still undamaged. So for that, he's gonna do his special, and his special says exhaust one item to take the action on his reference card, which is here. Search the discard pile for the top card with the available item and craft it, scoring one point. So, uh, the discard pile would be here for a boot. So he is gonna get a boot. This is exhausted and he gains another point. All right, so they are tied at five where we have seven. And that uh, concludes their turn. So uh, that includes daylight, that concludes daylight, now evening. If you have any damaged items, refresh four undamaged items. So we'll refresh these. All right. And they're not in the forest. So they're just gonna go ahead and discard their fox card. And it will be our turn. So I did just notice a quick rules goof that I think I messed up a couple times throughout the video, which is um, the second step of evening here. 
I was skipping it because I wasn't in the forest, but you can see here the second clause says, if you're not in the forest, you should still repair an item. So uh, my apologies there, I wanted to point this out. I do think there were a couple times where I didn't do this, um, but I caught it later on. So for our turn, I think we'll go ahead and add this card to recruit. And let's see how that goes. So three recruits, two in bunnies, one in mouse. Perfect. Two movements, uh, a wild and a fox. So, unfortunately, I think, oh yeah, this will work out well. We'll move up to here, and then one over to there. Perfect. And now a battle will happen here. Let's see if we can get some points from removing buildings. Ooh, yes, we did, excellent. So two cats gone, one recruiting station gone, which gets us two points because of our leader ability. So that puts us up to nine, and no return hits on us. So that was good, oh, and then, oh no. Oh yes. We needed that, holy moly. We needed that because we have to build. Huh, that was close and didn't even realize it. Uh, without taking out that building, we would have not been able to build anywhere. So that was critical. That gets us four points. Excellent. And two new cards. There we go, a wild, two wilds. Ha. And of course now I'm hesitant to use them because I don't know how much longer this leader is going to be able to stay in power. But let's go ahead and see what happens next turn. So it is now the Mechanical Marquis' turn. They pull a bunny card. It has a crafting item. It has a boot, but we already crafted all the boots. So they can't craft that. They don't get the point. Let's go ahead and do daylight. So first they're gonna battle in bunnies. Uh, let's just double check, but I don't think there are any bunnies for them to battle, and no there aren't. So they're gonna recruit four in bunnies. One, two, three, and again the tiebreaker goes to the highest priority, which would be here. They're gonna build, so bunnies build workshops. And the most warriors at this point is right here. So that goes there. They're gonna move. Uh, so moving is straightforward here to here. They're coming for territory seven. And finally, they're gonna score one point. All right. Discard their card. And now the Vagabot's turn. So the Vagabot, a bunny card, it does have a craft. So they're gonna craft a teapot. And that gets them a point. All right. So, slip. They're not gonna slip because again, it says if you have two or fewer undamaged items, but he still has four undamaged items. Now, just to reference this um, battle track, this does not, putting an item here does not, it can't be damaged. So they need to have basically five undamaged items and then the sixth would go here. So uh, for right now, they're not doing the battle track either. Uh, so they are just going to go ahead and do the bunny actions which are battle, repair, and special. So for battle, they're gonna come after us, obviously, because we are in the lead, and they're already with us, so they're not going to move. 
Um, so they're going to exhaust one item to go ahead and battle. And this could actually hurt us pretty badly. Let's see what happens. Hopefully we do some damage to them back. Three to three. Oof. So again, he's capped at one. So he takes out one bird, gets a point, but we damaged three items, which is huge. So one, you first do the exhausted items and then the unexhausted items. Two, three. He only has one item left, so he can't do his second battle. Uh, so we're just gonna go ahead and do the repair next. Repair is if you have any damaged items, exhaust one item to repair one damaged item. So he's gonna exhaust this to repair this. And then finally, his special. So he is gonna be able to do his special again. He's gonna exhaust this item to craft and score. So let's see if there's anything in here. The boot, he's already done. Ah, uh, yes, he can get those. So he does take this and gets one more point. All right, so it's six to eight to 13. Uh, evening round. So he does have damaged items. So he's gonna refresh four undamaged items, which he's kept at two. Um, and then he's not in the forest, so he's just going to go ahead and discard his card. All right, our turn. So with these cards, I'm tempted to do a build, a craft, even though we only get one point um, because of our disdain for trade. I still think pulling these items away is useful so that they can't continue to build them. So I will go ahead and um, craft this. And I know I'm doing it out of order, so first I should be adding a card to the decree, but um, that's okay. So I'm gonna discard this and craft this hammer for one point. All right, and now I'll add this mouse card to the decree, uh, again, under recruit. I'm not sure how much longer we have for this leader, but let's try to go another round. So we're gonna do two mice recruit actions. So I'm gonna do one here and one here and two bunnies which both go here, okay? Now for my movement, um, you know what? I'm gonna change this recruit. I'm gonna change this recruit to here. And now for my movement, I'm gonna go ahead and move this fox to here. And my wild movement will be to backfill the fox. Now the battle, the battle is interesting. And here's why. I can get two points by taking this right now Oh, hold on, I screwed up because, no, this move is not gonna happen. My wild move needs to be here so that I can get another build out. So I'm gonna go ahead and move three to here. Okay, that was my wild movement. All right, so now, as I was saying, the battle is interesting because if I battle here, I can get two points. If I battle here, I can injure this Vagabot, which will likely damage some of his items. And if I can damage at least one item, he will slip into the forest next turn um, and, and skip daylight. So when he slips into the forest for repairing things, he skips daylight altogether. So basically it would prevent him from having a turn next time. And then maybe next turn, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and battle here. 
So here we go. We need to damage one item. Or just do one hit, basically. Whew. Excellent. So we did damage two items. All right. Perfect. And now I'm going to go ahead and build. And I do rule this territory because we're tied. So I'm going to build a roost here. And that gets me four points and three cards now. So we get a fox, a fox, and a bunny, and a mouse. So that was, that was pretty good. Um, I'm feeling pretty good about that. We got another turn through the decree. If we can get one more, we might be able to do some serious damage to this building and this building, and that would really make this leader uh, pay off. So let's go ahead and do the Marquis turn. Oh, they draw a bird card. So this could be uh, trouble because they're going to get an escalated daylight uh, action here. But let's go ahead and do this. So there isn't a crafting item on the bottom. So they're not going to craft. So now we're going to do the escalated daylight phase. Um, so basically, they're going to battle in every clearing. Um, so there's only one clearing that they're actually going to battle in, and it's there. So let's go ahead and battle. Wow. Look at that. So that did nothing for them. Yikes. Uh, recruit. Two warriors each in two clearings you rule of lowest priority. So that will be two, four total. Now, lowest priority is highest number. So that would be 12 and 10. Oh, they don't rule 10. So nine. Okay. Now they're going to build and there is a tie for all three of these. So if you look here, basically whenever there's a tie, um, you do these tie breakers and it looks like they're going to build a sawmill with the most warriors, uh, which would be here now. Okay. And then they're going to move. Um, from each clearing. So they move all the three warriors from each clearing to the adjacent clearing with the most enemy pieces. Uh, then battle in each clearing you move to. So ex escalated daylight is no joke. Uh, so let's go ahead and do these in order. So yeah, we're going to do this in... Um, Clearing order. So one doesn't move because there's only three. Two, they're not in. Three, they're not in. Four, there's they're not moving. Five, they're not moving. Six, they're not in. Seven, they're not in. Eight, they're not moving. Nine, they are moving. And they're going to move two... out to, that's interesting, I would think, let me just see. So actually they're gonna move back to the highest priority, which is one, and I think maybe I goofed that up in the beginning, but it would not have mattered. Um, but basically I think I moved, did I? No, I moved from here to here. Okay, we're okay. Uh, so they're gonna move there, and then 10, they're not moving. And 11, they're not moving. 12, they are moving. And they're going to here. Uh, let me just make sure. There's three pieces here. There's four pieces here. There's four pieces here. No, they would move down to here. Because this is a higher priority. And it's tied. So then they're going to battle here. And they do kill one bird. All right, so that was the move, and now 
for evening, they're going to score two points because since it's a bird, you look at whatever they get the most points for. And they're going to discard their card. All right. Vagabot. Vagabot drew a bunny card with no craft on it. And because they only have one undamaged item, they are going to slip. So they're going to move to a random adjacent forest. Uh, there are three. So let's just go ahead and roll a die. Huh, okay. Two. So they're going to move to here. One, two, three. And they go right to evening. If they have any damaged items, refresh four undamaged items. So, um... They're going to refresh four items. That's all of them. Perfect. Actually, no, they cannot be refreshed. I'm sorry. Damaged items cannot be refreshed, so that does not apply. Uh, but what does apply is number two here. If we're in a forest, repair all items. So we are going to repair all items. Okay. And then we're going to discard our order card. And that concludes their turn. Okay, and now since they have eight items that are undamaged, they do move one to the battle track. And the rules say that they should move an exhausted item to that battle track. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And now they're, move, they're doing two hits moving forward. And with that, it's our turn. Okay, so this will likely be our last turn with this leader, uh, simply because we only have one more roost to build. So unless we, someone kills one, um, this is gonna be it. So I'm gonna go ahead and play the mouse card under move. And let's see if we can complete the decree. So two, Recruits in a bunny, two recruits in mice, and now we have to move. So I'm going to move from the bunny, this is my wild movement, to fox. My fox movement will be from fox to mouse, and my mouse movement will be like so. All right, and that's where my build will be. So, oh, no, we have a problem. Oh, no, we don't. We don't have a problem. Ha! Luckily, our battle in a mouse, we can do that now, thanks to the cat's last turn. So we're going to go ahead and battle there. Oh, no, I'm sorry. The plan is to battle here. That's right. We are going to battle here and get two points. Brain fart. So, two to nothing. We take this out. That gets us two points. Great. And then we are able to do a build here. And that completes our decree. So we get five more points. And I think we're in pretty good position here uh, for the last turn of the game. Let's see what happens. Uh, so we're going to draw three cards. Now I do need to discard a card here, two cards actually. So let's go ahead and discard a fox and a mouse. Oh wait, I don't want to discard anything that can be built. No, boots can't be built anymore. So we're good there. All right, it is now the Marquis' turn. So they are drawing a card. It is another bird card. So they're gonna get an escalated daylight once again. All right, so it does not have a crafting item. So we're gonna go ahead and battle in each clearing. So they are gonna do a battle in both five and seven. Ooh, and 10. A lot of battling happening here. So in five, here we go. 
Ooh, they took out two. They took out two of our guys because they only have two. And we took out no one. Now in 10, three to one. So they took out two, we took out one. And here, three to nothing. So they took out one of ours. All right. That was a little painful, but okay. Now they're gonna recruit. So they're recruiting a total of four warriors and they're going in the two clearings they rule of lowest priority. Again, lowest priority. So that is gonna be 12 and so they no longer rule 10. Um, Nine. All right. Now they're going to build. So they're going to build another sawmill. And that is going to go into here. Perfect. And now they're going to move. So once again, we'll assess these in order. So they're going to move from one to five, and they're gonna battle immediately. Zero to one. They're gonna move two, three, four, five, six. Here, back to one. Here they're not. And here they are. So they move, uh, it looks like most enemy pieces would now be here. And they're gonna battle. Oh, wow. They take out both birds. Okay. Uh, so that completes their escalated daylight. They are going to score three points now. And that concludes their turn. So it is now the Vagabot's turn. He draws a bird card with a boot, but there are no more boots to craft. So the first thing he's gonna do is explore. Uh, so he's gonna move to the nearest ruin, which is here. So he, he exhausts one to move and exhausts another to explore, so that's two. Okay. Then he's going to quest. Oh, his first, his first quest, actually. So let's look at this. Uh, move to the nearest clearing matching the quest. Now this is a fox quest card, so he's gonna go ahead and move. Uh, there is a tie. So on the card, um, it doesn't talk about ties. So we're gonna go ahead and move to six to break the tie with the priority number. Then exhaust any two items to discard the quest and score one point. All right, done. Uh, then replace the quest. All right, and then finally, he is going to aid. Oh, the bird has four actions. So he's gonna aid. Um, so he's gonna aid me, actually. I am in his clearing, and I'm the only one. So he's gonna exhaust one item to get one of my items, basically. and he gets one point for that. We get a card, which we have to discard. 
Another card. Okay. Mm, let's discard some of these birds. We don't need all these birds. We'll discard this ambush bird. All right. And then finally, he's going to battle. So we are in here with him. Uh, he's going to go ahead and do the battle. Obviously, he takes this out, which is good for us. Could actually win us the game. And that gets him one point. And we don't do any damage back because we had no warriors there. Um, yep, and then, so now he has no damaged items. So he's going to refresh six items here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And he is ready for his next turn. But... I don't know that that's going to come because we now can build our roost in six. So we might be able to do the decree. So I'm going to go ahead and just do a wild recruit. And let's see how this plays out. The only thing, yeah, we should be fine. So I'm going to go ahead and recruit three in the bunny. Two in mice. All right. Uh, now we have to move. So I'm going to move two up to here as my wild. I'll move one out of here as my fox. And I'll move one here as my mouse movement. Now we have to battle. We're gonna battle right here. Uh, so he takes out one of ours, but we take out one of his. And we have to build, which we will build right here. And that wins us the game. So evening phase, we're gonna score five more points for the game. Wow, that was, uh, that was pretty fun, actually, playing both of them. Now, obviously, um, it was a clear runaway here. I, th I think I did make a, a couple rules goofs, as I pointed out along the way, but I don't think anything that would have drastically changed the score here. So I think for our next turn, or our next game, rather, we will play against the Woodland Alliance, and then potentially ramp up, add a couple more difficulty um, variables to these existing characters. Uh, so if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and give us a like, and I will see you next time.